Okay, we back. Chapter 3. Who do we want to start off with today? You know what? We're always going to start off with... Mina. Because I don't like her. I don't like her motherfucking attitude, bitch. So let's start off with her all the time. Two o'clock in the fucking morning, but I'm determined to... Last stop. You're Wendy, right? Not I miss wedding ring. Did you tell day. your daughter I'm married? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Hey, Dad. Hey, what Daddy. What is this? Who sold these to you? Calls himself Spider. Very easy My to man find. fucking snorting somewhere. some no, blow, no, dude. You're done. You've got very bad things coming your way. Very bad things, sir. Yeah, right, bitch. Get out of here. Stop the shit out your goofy ass. All caught up, we know what's going on. Secrets and lies. I'm pretty sure her husband found out. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> we really should do this more often. I can't do this again. I mean, give me a moment. I didn't mean right this second. He's not hearing me. I mean this. Us. What, what do you mean? Uh, don't be soft. Always short term. Don't be soft. Uh, nothing to explain. I don't think there's anything to explain. This was just a bit of fun. So is that it? Put your clothes on, man. It's only so long you can have your bare ass on your bed. You nasty ass motherfucker. No apologies. Okay, well, can I meet you for a coffee sometime? I don't know, this all seems a bit rushed. No, motherfucker. Don't answer that. I need to get dressed. I gotta go. I think it's a bit too late now, sugar. Your man already knows. <clears throat> it was fun while it lasted. Sure, I can't tip you in a coffee. Uh. Block. It don't matter, he already knows. Oh look, he's at the fucking the place where we dropped off uh, Molly. And the other story. Oh, he looks pissed, boy. Janin. Janin. Janin din 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 din. Alright, let's see what happens. What does that sign say? Lost cat, please help. I ain't seen no cat. Uh, this is a chore. Okay, how are we doing? Am I late? Yeah, by like 20 minutes. An apology would be nice. Sorry. Work. Come on, let's go in. I don't think he buys that shit no more. Hello, Dan. Mrs. Hughes. It's lovely to have a chance to talk to you both at last. <clears throat> it's getting late. I'd assumed you weren't coming. I'm so sorry, we were held up. Look at his face, he just looks pissed. <laughs> like he's had enough of this shit. He's like, ah, oh, goddammit, I'm done. Let's go, oh, let's get this How's moving. How's doing, Mrs. Adelaide? I need to stop talking Tomorrow, and pay please. attention to the choices. Sorry, I think this is the first time we've met. This is my wife, Mina. Pleased to meet you, Mina. Dylan's progress this term has been good. He's blossoming into quite the artist. I can't believe some of the stuff he brings back from school. Sorry, I forgot You say that with such a blank face. Yeah, don't you think you could do this often? Uh, it sounds exciting. See I'm you really this evening. Nice. I've cleared my afternoon on Tuesday. Right, all right. I'm interested to see how you perform. I'll be close by. Don't let me down. Uh... Wanker. Do I send that to him? Okay, what were we talking about? Uh, well, as I was saying, Dylan has a, a keen interest in drawing. Sorry, oh. that's me again. Oh, me come now. on, girl. Put that thing on silent. I'm really sorry about this. It's fine. You two continue. Oh, well, no. I've never been so embarrassed. Uh, here it comes. My fault? He's overreacting. It is your fault, but it ain't a big deal, I don't think. You're overreacting. Dylan's doing fine. You did a good job at making me look like a crap parent in there, though. Thanks for that. 
No, you're not a bad parent, Mina. You're just... You're never here to do any of it. When you are, I feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. He wanted this? Uh... It's my job. For Christ's sake, Dan, it's my job. What do you want me to do? Quit and become what? A teacher? You think we can afford to live in that house on two teachers' salaries? Get real, Dan. I'm providing for this family. Don't throw that at me. I'm not asking for the world. I just want some extra help. I'm off. You can continue this on the way home if you want. Hmm. It's hard to blame Dan whenever you've been doing that shit you don't really have to be doing. You know what you've been doing, girl. The office earlier. They said you'd left for the day. Ooh. Oh. Whew. Blame receptionist. Probably a mistake. Well, I don't know why they say that. The receptionist doesn't have clearance to know my whereabouts. Brilliant. Get out with it. Uh. Anything else? Let's hear it. We'll say let's hear it. I feel it. like you want to ask something. What's the point? You've always got an excuse. <laughs> My man ain't lying. My man is not lying. Well, so far you wore the same shit every day, so how about you mix it up once in a while? Stop being so damn bland. Can we go out? Oh, it's his clothes. Eat your muesli. And then can we go out? Oh, no, it's out? her clothes. Okay. No promises. Not till that bowl is empty. Even the grey bits? Especially the grey bits. This looks like rabbit food. Ooh, we look good. Don't make me bring out the choo-choo train. <laughs> Don't be weird. Can we go to the park then? Or maybe Mum would like to take you. Okay. Yeah, start would being like a mom. Yeah. Dude. Um. Go ahead and get dressed. Get dressed, troublemaker. Thanks, Mina. Me personally, I'd just be like, hey, fuck it, man. We're going in pajamas. I don't give a shit. What are you going to say? Can I go on the swings? Uh. Oh, hold on. I need. I just. Of course. Of course. I gotta hit every one. I can't miss. Mina Hughes, this is Harlequin. Please authenticate. Hughes 47 Alpha Tango. I'm trying What's to focus. Up? Amrit has left a memo oh, he just here asking your authorization on the Munich document. He's saying you must have forgotten. Can I have some money? I can't send it off without screen? someone's signature. Tell Amrit he can authorize this himself. He should know. I explained this to him on Wednesday. Mom, I tried reaching are you, him, you listening? It voicemail. We it's need going faster. Mom! This is it. Shut up. Uh, hang just on. a moment, Dylan. I almost said shut up. Look, forget it. <laughs> I'll come by the office and sort this out myself. Uh, TV weekend? Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. We're going to have to cut this short. You can spend the oh, rest I of missed. the day with Dad. Damn it. I haven't even gone on the swings yet. Another you can time, go buddy. To the park another time. I have to go to work. Oh, uh, you always say that. Fine, let's go then. I'm sorry, Dylan. Damn, dude, we missed. I, I wonder if it was an achievement. This is your job. Um, humor him. We don't need to tell him exactly. I mean, we do. He's our son. What do you think I do? What is he a spy? I don't know. Something to do with lying to people. Who told him that? That's not entirely incorrect. So, what is it? You're too young to understand. Why can't you just tell me? Fine. I work for a British private military security and intelligence company. My job is to monitor, support, and execute orders for our investigators out in the field. The data is brought home to be analyzed, packaged up, and returned to the client, usually a government or private interest. How's that? <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun. Far from boring. Uh, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's not. <sighs> Any ideas what you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a teacher, like Dad, and help people. 
You can do better than that. What? Like you. That's what not did bad. you just say? Nothing. I just want to go home. Tell him off. Reason with him. That's what I thought. Let's go then. Hey, yeah, you started it. Saying that you can bear it in a teacher. Like a teacher's a bad fucking job. You got some nerve, girl. What? What is it? How do unfaithful wives hide their secrets and lies? What the? Ooh. Spider. I bet that's who it is. Is that it? I felt like a short chapter. Seriously? I bet there must be a lot of chapters if that was just... That was short. Damn. Okay, well... <clears throat> we'll save the best for last, because I always like the paper dolls one. That's a, that's a good one. Stranger Danger. By the way, I also feel like stop. has he said anything? Not people. We'll watch this. Sat there staring at us. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? It's always Becky and Vivek. I'm sick of this. I'm going out. Is Becky your friend? What was that? Come a little closer. Ash, I need to get Emma. Please. Always Ash, in his motherfucking tidy whities I can explain everything. <gasps> Dude, if she's dead, that's gonna be fucking wild. I was gonna say, I don't think our choices matter. I don't think they really do alter the uh, ending. Maybe it does. I don't know. I could. I'm probably wrong, to be honest. Friend or foe? Dun, 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 dun. Dramatic music. Sounds nice. We'll wear that. You got your date tonight, love? Yeah. No idea where she's going to take me, though. Nice to see you putting yourself out there. Yeah. Had enough of being single at this point. What are you both talking about? What? Emma's taking a lovely girl out tonight. What happened to Ash? I should probably get ready for work. What happened to the other girl? What the fuck? Good luck, Em. What's her name again? Hazel. Oh, sounds fancy. She's from Croydon. <laughs> Croydon? What the hell is that? <coughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I was thinking so. Uh, hold on. You doing okay, Mum? The mom. Okay. Was the teacher oh, have a at the ride. conference? I, I just realized up. that. I thought she was. All right. Of course, hon. Just one of my wobbles. Damn, dude. What happened to Ash? Did she really die or something? Um. So, Hazel, eh? Let's go for a walk. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I'm worried about Mum. Why? Why? She's just a bit wobbly, that's all. Mum is really gonna need our help from now on. We've both got to pull through for her. Is she sick sick or like... Hey, I got the Rona sick. Or is she like cancer sick? Um. Okay. Donna, I mean it. I don't want to see you staying out with your friends all night anymore. All night? I'm not out all night. I'm not trying to have an argument. Please just promise you'll spend some time with Mum this evening. 
You're not telling me something. Where you at? Come on. I think it's probably best you know what's going on. She is sick, sick, like really sick. That sounds worryingly serious. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. It seems pretty quiet at the moment. Mum's not well. Oh, what? Like the flu or something? No. I mean, she's really not well. Oh. She's been having some tests and they've not come back great. Mm mm. Uh, they're just tests. Not great. Don't panic. She's gonna be okay, though. I don't know. We'll say, uh, nothing she can't Mum's handle. a trooper. She'll be alright. <sighs> I'm gonna be late for work. But the problem is, there's just no way that they could have survived the radiation in the spacesuits that they were wearing. I don't get it. Like, no one can explain that part. It's not even a conspiracy. Okay, I don't get it. Fact. What the Look hell happened that? to Ash? Have you seen The Shining? Did the other girl move on from her already? It's been like, what? A day? Ain't been that long. Has it? I don't... I'm not... Donna, hey. Hey. Not getting bored yet? Eh, yeah, I passed the time doing some spring cleaning. I managed to take down that old plastic sheet at the back of the pool. How, why is he tied up again? Honestly, he's not trying to leave. Um... We need to sort out what we're doing here long term. I don't know how much more school I can miss. Oh yeah, sure. We can talk about it when I come back tonight. Uh, the party? Did you ever make it to Moise's party in the end? The other night? Nah, I couldn't get away from Dad. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't go either. Oh. By the way, you should take some time to explore this place. There's an upstairs area at the back which is worth a look. I'll see you later. Bye, brother. Brother man. We need to question him about... Um... Wanna go for a wonder? About what happened? How are you feeling today? Like... Why are they not talking about... I don't know. We're... Oh, I'm on top of the we'll world. We'll probably find out what happened That's to her. Right. You seemed a little unlike yourself the other night. <clears throat> <laughs> then you would know, right? How's your sister? No, don't worry about her. She's not sad. What's he know about mom? I'm guessing he knows something, probably. What? No, she's alright. What the hell? Oh, Viv. What the hell is going on? I don't know, I just find it weird that we're walking around with this dude now and we're still ha keeping him tied up. Hey, I know. Let me take a photo of you. You want to take a photo of me? A photo? Yes, I do, dumbass. Didn't you just hear me? Um. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, cool. I've just got to free up some space on my phone. <sighs> so that's her sister and her mom coughing. Is that when we fill off the boxes? Let's keep that one. I 
We'll delete that one. We'll delete that one. And that one. Uh, what's smolder mean? I'll put these ones on them. Yeah, it looks good. I know you're not normal. You've got kooky abilities. Why are you staying here? Right now, I'm happy where I am. I could set you free. What you telling us? Okay, well, what if we decided to stop coming back here? Would you go to the police? If you didn't think I would, you would have no reason to keep me here. But would you? I'm asking you. Okay. Uh, he's enjoying this. <laughs> you like being our prisoner, don't you? And that's not weird to you. How does it make you feel? Um. Nope. No, you don't. Enough of your super intense questions. I want to know about you. What do you want to know? Are you a human? Are you a human being? Like me? I'm very much like you. Are you building a guerrilla army? No. You like Becky? Do you like Becky? Not in the way you mean. Uh... Game time. Play okay. some cards, man. Let's play a game. Goldfish. Have you heard of word association? I'll say a word, and then you say what it makes you think of. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Uh, home. Home. Here. What? How about this? Sex. Essential. Okay, death. Death. Unnecessary. Why unnecessary? He's fucking immortal. That's, That's why he my said it. Favorite song. It's lovely. <clears throat> Always makes me think of her when I hear it. What's wrong, Donna? Uh, Emma is a drama queen. No big deal. Emma told me this. I don't. I don't want to get close with this dude. But it doesn't matter. She's gonna be all right. I said no big why deal. Did I didn't want to tell him anything. You are. People are frail. If she's old, your mother will probably die. You prick. Have I done something wrong? Uh. Had enough. We should get you back to your chair. Why are we even fucking with this dude? Obviously, she wants to. But it's obvious that we don't have back. to. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Come on, let's go for a walk. I take it you weren't a fan of my attempts at interior decorating? Um. No, I love that. It made me smile. I figured if the three of us are spending more time here. <clears throat> Uh, how's Becky? Heard from Becky. Dunno. Not heard from her since Moise's party. She told me she was gonna wash you out. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> she did, actually. Oh. Oh, shit. We're supposed to be walking. God damn it. I was over here paying attention to the questions and talking. My dumbass is zoning out. I still don't trust this dude, the fucking, our prisoner. 
I mean, you can't really call him a prisoner. It feels like he could leave whenever. Is that why you're upset? No. No, it's not that. I mean, I don't see why you'd care about who I went out with. I don't. It's Mum. Unless you do care who I go out with. Oh, just listen, will ya? Sorry. What's up with your mum? I don't... Just give me a hug, yeah? I didn't say that, man. Yeah, it is what it is. Whoa! I didn't want to do that either. Go fuck. Um... What's her face is gonna be pissed off? Expect. No. Hoped. <clears throat> um. You should have said something. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to go home tonight. Are you sure? This is getting fucking all kinds of what the fuck. Especially with this creepy ass dude down there. Goddamn kids not focusing on their task at hand. That dude obviously likes her. Alright, so that still has some unanswered questions about that story. What happened to Ash? It's been like what? one day she's been gone and I don't know the next station is Salt Cellar Lane previously on last stop what's wrong with my dad Jesus you've stolen my body we're both in exactly the same situation there's got to be some cause some connection between the two of us you've swapped brains yeah okay it'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly on Monday we're gonna have to cover for each other I'm gonna have to pretend to be you, and you're gonna have to pretend to be me. Imposter Syndrome, Chapter 3. 635. Uh, run me through it. So what's the plan? The only way this is gonna work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's gotta be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. Um... He's loving this. All right, Danny Ocean. Let him finish. This sounds fun. <laughs> First order of business, 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll... 7.30. Uh, that's me. That's me done for. Uh, I should tell you. I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Sorry, Molly. Pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. Why no phone? I don't know. That's not the question that I need to be... 7.55, put head in microwave. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. <laughs> okay, now he's messing around. Hogarth Park. Okay, 7.30, it's, uh, we have to go and find Amy. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Uh, something wholesome, something northern. What does that mean? Okay, so I'll just go up to her and say, Hey, up, Chuck. Pardon? <laughs> Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century, yeah? Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. Ah, goddamn. Cornflakes? What do you want? Cornflakes? Focus. 
<laughs> Amy's a big theatre nerd. She could talk for hours about various places. She's I'm loving this. Incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distracted with that. Holiday, <clears throat> theatre, got it. Uh, musicals. Plays. So, that's Shakespeare. He's a bit good, isn't he? What was the deal with that piss up the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? <laughs> eh? I wouldn't call him fat. Some people say he's very handsome. <laughs> so are we going for this run or what? He's probably pissed off now. Meat and potatoes. I'm just misunderstood. I always think of him as meat and potatoes. You know, no fuss. Some people say that's a rare quality. Okay. Keep up if you can. I can. Wow. I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. I guess I can be a bit of a pillock, right? Ignorant, you could say. Well, you know, role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too fast. Try to catch up to her. What do you mean about me? Not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat. You give me a stitch. Come on. Let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. <laughs> you're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. I'm harmless. I'm a harmless dog. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, sure. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? Uh, do I sound? Sorry, I feel great. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Call you tomorrow? No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? Yes, sir. We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. <laughs> Hang on, what do you mean, story? Uh, we're related. Yeah. Well, um, you may be surprised to learn. Turns out, you and me are related. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> fucking Molly. She's awesome. Lie to Shaz. Uh, or his uncle. I remember that. That's a lie we said. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious nephew. Alright, lad. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hi, Shaz. Hi, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think, I think John must have told me that. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like having John as an uncle? Uh, let's ham him up. It was a dream. That's what we're, <laughs> we're gonna make ourselves look good. You know, John. <laughs> he was a great example to me. Maybe the man I am today. Ah, Jack's being modest. Well, I can't take any credit that I put himself up by his bootstraps. A self-made man, I'd say. <laughs> so how long was Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. He's staying. Uh... <clears throat> He's kidding. <laughs> He's only joking. I'm actually not. I'm <laughs> I both need to get your stories straight. <laughs> Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Um... Couch potato. Yeah. Nothing no, interesting. We won't really. be that bad. He was in Cambodia. Wow. Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping. Noble stuff. Okay, it's time to stop lying. Not that glamorous, really. Mainly just cleaning toilets and making coffee. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super rich. What? Oh no, is that? Rain it in a bit, John. 
Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow paced for you while you're Did we mess up? with us. I think I might have messed up. What well, minute head off, John? Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. Peace, brother. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. That was way too much. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? He's a taxidermist. Uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm a creative. I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. <laughs> I think he's a. Uh... And what does a creative do when he's at home? I don't think he's telling the Sounds full truth. Or I'm something. a software artist. Oh, okay. You know, video games. All right, I get that. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free to play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition, cutting edge stuff. Oh boy. Uh-huh. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. Subway surfers. That colored ball one. The maze one. That one on the island. I remember playing this one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? Uh, no. That wasn't me. <laughs> Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> She's awesome. Alright, Jack's office. Okay. So where do you work? Superfab. It's not far from your office, actually. Sounds easy. Maybe this is the wind-up. This is the girl. Sounds easy. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? Sounds pretty easy to me. There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Could I put Molly in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? <laughs> I'll walk you through it. Don't forget, I need to be taking <clears throat> school out at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Look <laughs> past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems. Oh, there. jackass. What the hell is going on? Uh, dippy? What does that mean? She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. <laughs> Jack, such a dumbass. Okay. What are we doing? It should have made it to where we could play uh, as both Jack and uh, my man. Okay, we can do this. I messed up on those boxes that one time. Alright. I got one finger on one. I can't let go. Whew. As long as the next button ain't A, I think I'm going to make it. It ain't A, is it? It's X. Okay. I don't want to let go. Fuck! Hello, stranger. God damn it! I should have just pressed it with my nose like I was gonna do. I'm such a dumbass. I was gonna press X with my nose. How do I fail at the at that? Damn it, I feel like a fucking You look well rested. <sighs> Avoid small talk. Yeah. It's like the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Uh, must be one of Jack's mates. Right, Derek. Yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. Let's just go. We don't want to ask no questions to her. Right. Yeah. 
I'm completely not with it this morning. God damn it, man. I should probably get going. I really wanted to succeed hey, at that. You never told me how your holiday was. Uh it was hot. Oh. Warm. Balmy. Great sunbathing weather. You should see my turn. In Iceland. Okay, well, I've got to run. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You want to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good to stuff like that. I should have pressed the buttons to different. Molly's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Jonah's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rumble support. <clears throat> and this is a computer game. Video game. Your game sounds bad, Jack. <laughs> It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's shell shock, Tobias funerals, Maya Rumble. Okay, remember that. See? Jonah Here Cakes. Uh, uh, fuck, I already hello. forgot. Letitia? Um, good weekends, everyone? Go up to anything interesting? No. Okay, um, let's see. So, I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. Uh, Jonah's cream cakes. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Letitia is retirement homes. You're doing something with AI. No, no, IA for retirement homes. Sounds right. Okay, Tobias. Tobias is... Funeral? I think rumbling was last, was it not? looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. That's the rumbling, right? I hope. You're... Rumbling? Rumbling, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. I mean, I remembered what you were all working on, but I'm sure you already knew that anyway. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. What the hell are you doing? You're like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. What are you talking about? I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. What? Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Where is this coming from? John. Oh, baby. Don't tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo. Dude, I bet that's actually the game developer. One of them in this purchase game. Um, I'm gonna need a bit of help. Hello, I'm John. We'll say hello. Try, don't like your tone. Welcome to my tea shop. I am Mrs. Clapton, the cream tea guru. Would you like to purchase one of my freshly baked cakes? Today's specials are salted mint and Himalayan lemon cheesecake bubblegum shortbread. I don't know. I didn't get to read it all. This is ridiculous. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Uh oh. Okay.
Oof. I might be getting fired here. Let's hope not. Okay. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Um, say something. It was good. We'll say, just say something. Oh, yeah. Very poignant. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> Grin and agree. <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Be positive. Yes. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. <laughs> I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, weekends? There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. That's not what I wanted to say, and dude. You don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. Dude, what are we doing? <laughs> no. You've lost the plot, mate. Why would I do all that extra work for free? Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Passion? Unbelievable, that's it. Passion! I'll show you what you can do with your passion! Oh my gosh, dude, that's not what I wanted to say! Ah, we got fired. Hey, Dad! We gotta remember that this is someone hey, else's fucking life, dude. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's... I hope he got fired. You know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Okay, well, so did I. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well maybe I'm <laughs> a little bit fired. Told you. We mean a little bit Between fired. You me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. This is bad. This is his fault. What the hell are we going to do now? It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw you pay slick. Yeah, about that. Here's the thing. <laughs> I might have... Okay. Here's the thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everything okay? Something go wrong? Might need a beer for this. Fancy a beer. Shot of tequila, maybe. Wait. What? You got fired as well? <laughs> the eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. We're in for Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. <laughs> Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's we're in, it. We're in I'm deep gonna shit. demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two what? slices. Hey, that's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah. I love quarter. <laughs> <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. No, dude.